Hello everyone, Red Calico here. Today, I will be talking about a fantasy shonen mana called Unholy Blood. The reason I want to discuss this mana is because you don't generally see OP female protagonists in the shonen genre. If I try to think of some, maybe Soul Eater and Yona of the Dawn come to mind, but like you wouldn't see a female version of One Punch Man very often. This is a Korean mana by Im Lina, and before I get into the plot, there are some mild spoilers, so tread carefully. The story takes place in South Korea, which has been overtaken by vampires for the last decade. Hyun, our protagonist, is one of the last pure-blooded vampires left, and she lives somewhat peacefully with Father Michael, a former veteran-turned-priest, and her two adopted siblings. Hyun doesn't remember the events of her childhood because of a traumatic event, but when she becomes 20 years old, strange events start happening and Hyun realizes that her family is in danger. Half-blooded vampires start searching for Hyun, and with the help of Detective Unte, they seek to end the cruel reign of vampires in the country. The main group of antagonists are known as the Angels of Death. They are much more powerful than average purebloods as they were given blood from God. God leads the Angels of Death and normal half-bloods to retrieve Hyan's heart, but there is a twisted history behind the man's mask and it is intertwined with Hyan's lost memories. I saw Unholy Blood on the Webtoon homepage and it intrigued me because I'm shoujo trash and I thought it was a soft romance story, but oh boy was I wrong. The mystery surrounding God and Hyun's past kept me hooked, and it was especially unique in that the protagonist was an OP female. Unholy Blood does a good job balancing Hyun's struggles with her overwhelming power. A lot of works in the shonen genre tend to give the protagonist plot armor, thus making the story less interesting. The art style accentuates realistic qualities, and it's so satisfying to read such crisp images. I honestly don't have much criticism for the work. It has pretty much everything you could want in a fantasy shonen genre. It has suspense, interesting backstories, romance, and epic battle sequences. I do wish we could see more regarding pureblood vampires and how they manage to stay hidden in society, but for now, I'm pretty satisfied with how they introduce the history. This made me question why we don't see more OP female characters in shonen. Perhaps animators, manga, and mana artists like to stick to traditional OP male protagonists to appeal to larger audiences. But when I read Unholy Blood, I'm just as pulled into the story as I am for One Piece or a seinen like Finland Saga. Ultimately, her gender doesn't draw me to the work, but her struggles as a human being does. Hayan is conflicted with her overwhelming humanity despite having a vampire identity and her desire to give humans a better world is tough to accomplish despite her extreme strength. Hyun doesn't try to convince or befriend the enemy, which makes sense because if you objectively view their actions, they're evil. Most of the villains have tragic pasts, but this is never used by the author to redeem them or justify their actions. And sometimes the angels of death are used to portray how easily humans resort to violence and hatred when tragedy hits. Oh, also, at one point in the story, they introduce the vampire vaccine, which is used for humans to prevent becoming into vampires. And there's a skeptic who goes on live TV and she proclaims that she isn't going to get the vampire vaccine because she's suspicious of it. And I just thought it was a bit ill-timed and I think the author did too because the author left a note for that chapter. So that was the only real issue I had, but I understand that the author didn't try to time it with the release of the vaccine, um, and she did acknowledge the old timing. So please do go check out this work. It's an extremely enthralling story, and the artwork is crisp, um, and the female lead is an OP badass. So yeah. If you stuck around, thank you so much for watching, and as always, until next time.